The recipes in this series call for instant yeast, yet finding a package labeled instant yeast can be somewhat difficult. It goes by many names, but is readily available to almost anyone in several package sizes. Instant yeast is easily dissolved. The forerunner to instant yeast was active dry yeast. Created at the time of the Second World War, this yeast was the first to be shelf-stable. If you baked bread or rolls with your mother or grandmother, you may remember a step where the package of yeast was mixed with warm water and a little sugar. After 10 or 15 minutes, the water was topped with foam, thus proving the yeast was still viable. This foamy liquid became part of the moisture in the dough. Active dry yeast is still available and a favorite of many bakers. The yeast pellets are coarse and harder to dissolve, so this pre-mix step was helpful. The most popular form of yeast today is instant yeast. It is sold under many names, including bread machine, quick rise, fast rise, and others. These are all instant yeast. You can see the pellets are smaller. The yeast is also dried at lower temperatures, increasing the amount of live spores in each pellet. The smaller pellets are more potent than active dry yeast and dissolve quickly, so you can mix the instant yeast with other dry ingredients. Someone who bakes bread only occasionally may choose the small three-pack of yeast available at most grocery stores. As you become a more frequent baker, you may choose the larger four-ounce bottle, also available at most groceries. For frequent bakers, a one or two pound bag is best. Generally, the larger the package, the less the product inside costs per use. Whatever size you choose, the yeast can be stored in your freezer for up to a year and still be potent. Seal it in a large reclosable container for maximum freshness.